Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. So, time to take on Narsh, get all the incredibly useful stuff out of here. Uh, let's go left and up. This room's terrible because it's crowded and there's a guy walking around in here, so... Gotta put a lot of safety in all my movements, like always, when I'm in situations like that. Although, of course... I expected it to be the last time a long time ago, but I guess it's throwing just a little bit more at me in terms of NPCs to avoid. There we go. I got to the chest anyway. Shadow should probably come up first. In most scenarios, I think. So yeah, let's summon... Alright, so let's... Wait, uh... This must be Locke, because he's on steel. So let's put him down to magic, and... Have her morph, and Strago can use his bad breath. To try and mute this thing, just like the other Tonberry we fought earlier. Because they're both exactly the same, and they both suck just as equally bad. I'm only going to try twice on this one, since it's right next to the start of the segment anyway. So I don't really care that much if I lose it. And I'm probably still not going to lose it to boot. Since he doesn't counter with Stepmine all the time, and he doesn't die very slowly either, so... In fact, I'm not even sure Mute is really worth my time now that I think about it, but whatever. Uh... Wait, who is this now? This must be Shadow, I guess, but I thought it was a player one noise. Whatever. Okay, this must be Locke. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fire three. Oh yeah, gotta do it again because he's got the Sage Stone equipped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fire three, and now Strago. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lots of fire three spells coming his way now. He can't take this for long, which is good because Locke also can't do much for long. He's only got a couple castings of uh, fire three before he just runs out, so. It's kind of hard to use him because of that in this run because I can I pretty much have two choices half the time. Burn through tinctures like water or barely use his magic at all. And tinctures are pretty expensive, so Goodbye, Tonberry guy. You kinda suck, but you dropped me a bone a bone club, so. I'm glad for that, because I finally have one at any rate. Actually, this Bone Club now that I think of it is kind of useless for me, almost, because I get, I'll get the Bone Club in Umaro's area on the same... in the same area, and I'm not even using Gao here, so... Just like before, I gotta continue being careful. Hopefully no ridiculous shenanigans happen here, because the NPC can wall me for a long time, theoretically. It's weird hearing this music for so long in Final Fantasy VI. Usually that's something I'd associate with Final Fantasy IV. Like, it's, it's the only game... Well... It, it... Maybe not the only game, but... It's one of the... It's the game that I think of when I... Think of hearing this music for a while, because normally in six it doesn't play very long for any length of time. Item. That's not it. Not a hundred percent sure my warp whistles are good enough. And I'll save. So that's the first bit out of the way there. However, 
I'm probably gonna be going in and grabbing a whole bunch of other junk at, from Narsh right, right at this moment, so... Okay, second part of this giant Narsh saga here. It's kind of a long thing, because there's a lot of different segments in here. Or at least mini-segments. There's pro it's probably gonna be three segments total. The first one will end and I'll essentially have gotten nowhere. Two steps and that's it. Uh, so this this has got to be Shadow. It's the only one I put on this slot. Whoops. This is Terra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Locks just kind of set up so that he's out of my way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's pretty much all I can do with him, to be honest. I He doesn't have enough MP that I can spam spells, but he doesn't have any way to really be conservative with his spells, so... I... There's not a lot of options to do with him. I can either blow through my tinctures like water, or I can have him do a physical setup for meh damage. Oh, whoops. It would help if I was not being an idiot, but... Fortunately, the enemies around here are not too hard. I guess I was on the save for some reason. Actually, I should probably check if anyone died. Strago can at least die to those. If he gets counterattacked by a dog, he can die pretty easily. Those guys are not too much, too big schmucks. Skills, lock, magic, cure. Obviously, if he's Berserk, he's not doing anything with that in battle, so... 3, 4, left 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, left 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, I gotta be getting close now. At least that seemed to be on the fourth step, which makes things a little easier. Well, good work, Locke. You're contributing to the team in a meaningful way. Congratulations. I don't have a lot of uh, distance to cover in this segment, so I don't need to worry about Terra's MP in this one for sure. Terra, I don't really have much of an alternate setup for. I don't want to have her being bigger Terra around here when she's nuking everything with Fire 3. I'll eat the Tincture Loss, I suppose, or maybe whack things with the Soul Saber. But probably just eat the Tincture Loss. Skills, Lock, Magic, Cure. Okay, that wasn't right. Makes me worried that I equipped something. Yeah, how could that have happened? Magic, Cure. One. Two, three, four. One, two, three. There we go. If I de-equip someone, it's not a dis if I like swap someone's weapon around, it's probably not a disaster in it by any means. I'm probably only gonna get like one, maybe two more battles before the end of the segment, or rather mini sewed because all I'm getting is all I'm doing is grabbing the stuff here for now. Mog's my first goal, rather than Umaro. And I can access him quicker from the front of the town anyway. So there's absolutely no reason, as far as I can tell, to do anything else after this. Might as well cut the mini soap there. This guy is kind of really annoying because I can't just mash through his text because Apocalypse is the first option, and Terra's probably going to have her turns busy doing other things most of the time, even though I kind of would like a MP conservative option. I'll probably have the guild to blow, so that I can keep Terra funded. Not enough for Locke, probably. <laughs> Which is why I kind of don't want to have him throw magic everywhere, but... Well, at least not if he's sage-stoning it up. And, like, even the Rogue Cloak, I... That's not really enough to make a difference in my eyes. Terra just does it so much better. 
Alright, hello? Alright. I can just match through the first one until I get the noise there. But unfortunately, there's a ton of pauses in this text, which means I have to wait a while to make sure that he doesn't... Uh, I don't go too quickly. Actually, now that I think about it, instead of doing that, I could... Uh, well, I was thinking I could press down and A to mash through the text. That's one text box anyway. But that would probably be a bad idea, considering... I might press down when the text is still moving, and then... Uh, press A after the apocalypse message comes up and choose the wrong one by mistake. Two text boxes. His pauses are really, really long at some points, so... Yeah, I'm just being absolutely careful to not pick the wrong one. There's no way to tell, really, until... Three. There's no way to tell until the segment ends, which is aggravating to say the least. I always hate it when I can't tell whether something worked for a very long time. I mean, it's not super long here because the segment isn't long for, but it's just, it can be annoying even in other cases too when it's not all the way to the end of the segment that I have to wait. Five. Got seven text boxes to go here, and then I on the next one I go to, I move the cursor down. Six. So this is the last text box, and then after that I'm gonna take advantage of this handy bed here because why not? Seven. So yes, this is the choice between the Illumina and the Apocalypse, and I will be choosing the Illumina. If I'd, it would be much easier to choose the Apocalypse, but... Down one to the Illumina, and select it. Okay. Now let's go to sleep, restore my MP and HP. Mostly just MP, because everyone should theoretically be at full health, unless someone died at the end of the last fight and I wasn't paying attention. Okay, all the way to the top. This room's still easy to exit, but I gotta go grab the hero shield. Not sure whether I'm going to specifically allocate time on the belt to deal with that thing. I don't think so. I think I'll probably shove it on to the next area or something. I'm not sure. One, two, three. All the way down. Then again, maybe not, because ice guards are so helpful here. And I... And I can get an extra shot at learning Gao's Rages if I spend some more time on the Veld. He's got four Rages that... Well, after if I do it after the Fanatix Tower, anyway. Gao's got four Rages that I haven't had any shot at learning so far. One, two, all the way up to the top. So I'd at least ha like to have a passing chance of hitting those. There's no way I'm not going to hit any Nastodon slash Cerberi in this town, right one. In fact, I'm fairly certain that I've hit them already. Probably. So... That's every enemy knocked off the list except the magic pot. And I have, in fact, encountered everything else so far, so... All the way to the right, down a bit, all the way to the right, down a bit... Do that a few times left. And now when I get to here, I can just go down and right, thankfully. Don't have to do any shenanigans to line myself up with the bed. And as long as I hold A, should be able to mash this text box. There we go. Curse shield is now mine. Or rather, the hero shield. It's not quite as ridiculously cursed as it was in vanilla. I shouldn't have any more encounters here. Unless I mess up, because I'm just going to be warp whistling out at this point. All the way up to the top. Run up the staircase. One step up, all the way to the left. Up. One, two, three. Now I should be able to exit the building. And... 
Uh, dried meat, Phoenix Down, Remedy, Tincture, Warp Whistle. Goodbye. I know where they are this time. Because that's something I should have known the first time, but I didn't. Since that was only 10 minutes, it's only been 15 minutes so far. I think I'll shove uh, Mog in the whole, uh, in what's already happened so far. So, see you in a couple seconds. Well, I do believe it's time to finally get our Moogle back. He's been sitting there long enough, I think. He's probably getting kind of bored. Considering he's in a room with no encounters, otherwise he'd probably be getting kind of scared. This is Shadow. This is Strago. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. Was that a fire or three spell? That doesn't make any sense. I must be imagining things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now it should be throwing at a fire. Oh wait, duh, it was the fire scheme. Sometimes I just tend to imagine the most instinctive thing. <laughs> For me, I associate that sound with Fire 3 more than a fire skein, so. Okay, now what was that? Okay, that's kind of weirding me out. Let's make sure nobody somehow died. Skills. I'm two up to lock. Magic. Cure. <coughs> it's... it should... I should really be hoping that I don't mess up selecting which character because if I do then I'm going to be having Terra use Cure or something and that would be a waste of her MP because I'm not planning on healing that, although I do have some tinctures just in case. Okay, let's go into the mines. The mines have different encounters, so I need a slightly different strategy. A lot of them are weak to water, so I like having Shadow throw the water skeins in there. The only time I'd want to throw a fire skein is against the uh, fuzzies. Against the fuzzies, I could do... I could beat those guys much faster if... I was able to distinguish them immediately from any of the other encounters in there. Because Shadow could one-hit KO them half the time getting preemptive strikes anyway, so... They'd go down really easily. But... Oh. Going right next. Uh, so this should be... This should be Shadow, so have you throw the wave scroll. Locke killed something, apparently. Why would he kill in one hit? Are fuzzies the only possibility for that? Whatever. One, two, three. Black Omen. Time to make use of this, considering how many enemies around here are in groups that are reasonably large. I can get some mileage out of that. Terra's being conservative while in the mines and blowing up with MP outside the mines, whereas Strago's kind of doing the opposite. If those were fuzzies, they're dead now. That's for sure. Strago's uh, damage coming from Black Omen is kind of scary. Skills, lock, magic, cure. Wait, they didn't hit me. Why did I bother? <laughs> what was I expecting them to kill me with their psychic powers? That would be a pretty scary thing in an RPG. Just enemies randomly attacking outside of their turns. Man. That would just be unthinkable. Then again, I guess Ozma kind of does that in Final Fantasy IX. Whenever you select a command, he preempts you. That's almost attacking outside his turn. <laughs> Alright, so I probably made it. Good to note that I'm on the outside now, so I can switch strats again. One, two, all the way to the left. Up one, all the way to the left again. And then up one, all the way to the left again. Down, left, up all the way. This area is very easy to visualize, by the way. So even though it's kind of c 
complex in terms of the movements, it doesn't make a difference. I'm going up just before I enter the door. Well, that's not a preemptive. Does that noise mean that it's a Dante? Or could it possibly be something else? Whatever. Fire skeins are generally a pretty good bet anyway. I'm not sure what I'd even change if it was a Dante, although I suppose I'd probably have Strago not use rays. You know what, let's have him defend. See if uh, my random guess there happens to carry some mileage. Because that did sound like a Dante Spear. No, maybe it wasn't because... That attack that I don't know what it is. Okay, maybe it is. I don't know, I'm just getting confused here. I didn't scope this area incredibly much. Oops. Lock magic here. Just gonna hope for the moment that nobody somehow died. Nobody died the last time when that similar things happened, so... Hopefully I can push my luck here. All the way up to the top, continue up to the top. Into the place. Alright, so now back into the cave, switch strats again for the rest of the time, because I won't be exiting the cave again. Up all the way to the top. I managed to save a little bit of MP with Strago there by not using rays, and possibly a little bit of time too, because I'm pretty sure that was a Dante, and they just get healed by rays anyway, so it's pretty good against everything else, but ugh, dang it. I'm going left next, I'm pretty sure of it. Alright. So who is this? This is Shadow. Let's uh, water skein him. This should be Terra. Move her up to poison. It's not amazingly powerful, but it's pretty conservative. And... One, two, three. Well, hopefully that wasn't Strago. Because he's supposed to be the one wiping things. The main goal with using poison here is to poison the front wizard if there's a wizard in the battle. Because that way he takes actually decent damage. Lots of things dying, that's good to hear. Maybe the something else is dying too. Goodbye. Sounds like things went to plan there. Skills, lock, magic, cure. Continue healing. Alright, so I can err on the side of going up most of the time. As long as it wasn't in the first couple of steps, which that battle was, but anywhere else I can err going upwards, so I don't need to be careful doing my pseudo-diagonal here. It's quite a long walk, so I'm not going to count it over just yet. Once I get to the top of this area, I also have a door to tell me exactly where I am, and that's just convenient. And fortunately, I don't have to navigate out of here, because I've got those handy warp whistles, because otherwise it would be a pain in the butt to backtrack from about halfway into the dungeon. But just warp whistling out saves me a bunch of time. Plus, I also don't have to get the last chest in the dungeon, because it actually really sucks. <laughs> You're both doing the same thing right now. Actually, I can just press A with all of you, because all of you are just lo unloading the same strat that I was just using with everybody before. I hear Ice 2 spells. That's not going to do much, considering I'm all geared up to deal with Ice. The only one who, can ta who can't take Ice attacks very, very easily is Shadow. And I don't even think it's doing much to him here. I don't think his enemies are substantially all that powerful by this point. Skills, lock, magic, cure. There's that door noise. Alright, all the way to the top. Thankfully, Narsh isn't as bad as it seems like. Well, at least these caves aren't as bad as they seem like to navigate. 
I can make huge progress with virtually every movement I make, which is nice, except for a couple areas where I have to count out steps, but... Right? It's like three spots, but it's no big deal. Seems to have made that okay, right? I mean, up. And now I go right again. I can't go up and right there because it takes me way back into the corner, as you may remember from many segments ago. So I have to inch my way towards the actual right spot so I don't overshoot. Up one step. Eh, that's actually an okay place. Pref I prefer that than any of the parts that are coming up. Continue with the strat. And I hear Locke chiming in as well, so... Oh, fire. That's not the element I protected against. You can't do that. That's rude. It's a very impolite thing to do. I'm sure you're just a hit at parties and whatnot. All these parties in this desolate town, this ghost town, in the world that's pretty much crumbled. Skills, magic, thing here. One, two, three. All right, into the door. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, counting out steps there is saves me a bunch of walking around that I'd otherwise have to do, and it's not sp particularly hard there. I can air to the right easily around here. Continue with the same strat I've been using until Stragos MP runs out, which it probably will. I'm not particularly counting on to hold out, but I think there's probably only going to be a couple battles where I have to deal with the issues with that. I don't want to be spending 2,000 gil a Black Omen to heal that with tinctures, so of course I'm going to be dealing with that with Osmos. And that seems to be the end of that fight. Black Omen just crushes things around here. It appears that nothing hurt me, unless I'm making the same dumb mistakes I was making before. Right and up until I get to the top right, which I suppose would be the point of going right and up. Don't need me to tell anyone that, but... Thankfully, through this maze-like room, and indeed the other maze-like room where the other multi-party battle is, I can just use the, literally the exact same strategy. Right and up until I get all the way to the top right-hand corner, and left and up until I get hit something that will line me up nicely where I want to go next. This is feeling weird, because I feel like I should have gotten a battle somewhere in there. But if I don't get a battle somewhere in there, I at least don't have to worry about not making it to Mog's room because I took a step up at the wrong place. Alright, so I'm starting to think that I have gone far enough. One, two, three. All the way up. Now, hopefully I should be talking to Mog any second now. There we go. Hello, Mog! Yeah, yeah, I know. Mog is presumably very, very low level right now, because unlike Locke and Shadow, he wasn't used in... Well, unlike the other characters, he wasn't used in the maze and he wasn't used on the floating continent, and I think he might be the only one who falls into that category there. Well, not quite, but as I recall, I think the other characters all joined up relatively early in the world of Ruin. Alright, so now I have my Moogle Charm. Down one, all the way to the left. No encounters in here, so I get a nice breather from the random encounters. Not that this room's particularly hard to navigate, but it's got pseudo-diagonals, so I'm glad there's no encounters in here. Up, all the way to the left. Now I go down and left until I get the Reflect Ring. Probably will come in handy in the Fantastic Tower, I guess. And now I go right and down. 
thankfully I get a nice indication when I exit this room too and the very last chest is not very far from here so just get to chill out to this music for a bit and now I should be getting out of here alright back back out of happy town funland one two all the way to the right but the good news is the navigation's almost over to, can Strago hold out for one more battle is that the that's the question why am I asking is that the question I already know that's the question <laughs> I had a feeling that rest might be unfortunate because let's go down to the bottom there's a good chance Strago lost his MP somehow there, which means he won't even be able to Osmos. And that would be a uh, right shame. If Strago's turn comes back up again, I know he's completely out of MP. Okay, good. He happened to block it, or maybe he had like 70 MP left and couldn't cast Black Omen because of that. I mean, there were two Rasps there, but a multi-target Rasp is only going to do about 30 magic damage to him, so... This isn't the fastest way to take care of this battle, that's for sure. Let's see if that was successful. It was. Now let's see if it even matters, because these guys might be dead already. Skills, lock, magic, cure... Yeah, I'm starting to get worried that the same thing is happening. Continue on to the right, but I'm almost out of the dungeon, so I'm just going to rush it at this point. Uh, down to left, down to left, down to left, down to left, down to left. Any time now. There we go. And that's the last thing I need from here. Dried meat, Phoenix down, remedy, tincture, goodbye. So, I think that's it for this segment. The next one will probably involve me venturing to the save point and fighting the Silver Dragon. Not sure exactly how I'm going to split all this crud up, but maybe I'll even fight. Nah, probably not. See you next time.